A Spanish crypto billionaire and blogger who disappeared in mid-July has been found dismembered in Argentina. A suitcase with body parts of 42-year-old Fernando Perez Algaba was found by children playing near a stream. They told their parents about the terrible discovery, who immediately contacted the police. The deceased was identified. According to the investigation, the blogger was killed by a professional hitman, after which he dismembered the body. In his social networks popular in Spain blogger, he has about a million followers, taught the wisdom of crypto market, as well as published photos, demonstrating a luxurious lifestyle. However, it has now emerged that the crypto guru was actually mired in debt, he also had tax problems. Many mysteries remain surrounding the murder, said the Argentine TV channel El Tercer. From the latest that has come to light on the case is that Fernando had a girlfriend in Argentina. She was aware not only of his personal life but also of some of his affairs. But, strangely enough, Fernando moved in with her in Argentina for a very short period of time, renting an apartment from July 13 to July 19. We still don't know where he was killed, only the place where the remains were found. Only one person, a transgender man, who has already been detained, has been found on them. The investigation continues to examine CCTV footage, as well as the entrepreneur's laptop. His cell phone has not yet been found. It is believed that between July 15 and 16, the murdered man drove his car through one of the most dangerous areas of Buenos Aires province. He told witnesses that he planned to transfer $150 million and requested notarized mediation. From then on, he drove with a large sum of money through the most dangerous and poor neighborhoods. These places have a lot of problems, from drug trafficking to attacks by armed gangs. It's a den of crime. And for some reason the murdered man was spending time in these very neighborhoods. It's all very strange. At the time of publication of the material arrested one suspect, it is a transgender man, in whose apartment found blood killed. But investigators believe that he did not act alone, so they continue to search. The motive is not particularly clear, it is assumed that the financial issue is to blame, reports the Argentine TV channel La Nación. The investigation has two main hypotheses. First, Fernando had more than 200 complaints about him from people to whom he owed money, as well as from those with whom he was involved in a fraudulent scheme to sell land and cars. So, according to the first version, some of these people found him and killed him for his debts. But there is also another line of investigation. According to it, Fernando also lent to many people, and he was killed by debtors who simply did not want to return the money. According to some information, he was owed up to $150 million. It was much easier for these people to take Fernando's life than to pay their debts. These are the main versions that the investigation is working through. The murdered man had both debtors and those to whom he owed himself. Probably some of them are responsible for his death. In turn, relatives insist that the deceased was not a fraudster and had no ties with the criminal world. He just failed to make money on bitcoins.